and as they did eat jesus took bread and blessed and break it and gave to them and said take eat this is my body and he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them and they all drank of it and he said unto them this is my blood of the new covenant which is shared for many today all over the world christians are celebrating the resurrection of the messiah while jews are celebrating the last day of the passover feast the passover is a feast mandated by god in exodus 12 where he told the children of israel how to prepare for the passover in verse 14 he says and this day shall be unto you for a memorial and ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever this is a feast Yehoshua and his disciples were celebrating just before his crucifixion. As part of this feast, the Jews would drink four times from a cup, or in some cases, have four cups. The first two cups are the cup of Kiddush, or sanctification, and the cup of plagues, which are taken before the breaking and eating of the unleavened bread. After the breaking of bread, they then drink from the third cup, which is the cup of blessing and redemption signifying God's redemption of the Jews from Egypt and the future redemption by the coming Messiah. Most Jews don't believe the Messiah has come. So today, in most Jewish homes, they will leave a seat vacant on the dining table with a cup in front of it. This seat and cup are reserved for Prophet Elijah, who they believe is the forerunner of the coming Messiah. At a particular time during the meal, the head of the home tells the youngest child to go and open the front door for Elijah. And as the door is open, everyone stands and says, Baruch Abba Bachem Adonai, which means, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Of course, Elijah is nowhere to be found. And then they raise up the fourth cup, which is a cup of praise. And at this point, sing songs of praise and end the Passover feast by saying, Next year, in Jerusalem. Next year, Elijah will come. Very sad. They are still waiting for Elijah and the Messiah and wonder will he ever show up and redeem them as promised. They don't know of John the Baptist who came in the spirit of Elijah and proclaimed, Behold, the Lamb of God will check it away the sin of the world. The Messiah they are still waiting for is the same Messiah who sat at the Passover feast with disciples and the Bible tells us he took the cup after breaking of bread which is the traditional third cup signifying blessing and redemption then declared this is my blood of the new covenant which is shared for many what is this new covenant Christ talked about as he lifts up the cup that signifies the much awaited redemption we'll find this in Jeremiah Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, said the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. This, dear people of God, is the crux of the matter. This is the nexus between the Easter some celebrate and the Passover others celebrate. Just imagine how the disciples felt as they were celebrating this same Passover. They are celebrated every year and drank the third cup of redemption signifying the coming Messiah and looked out to see if Elijah will come only for Yehoshua to now declare, this is my blood of the new covenant. This is the redemption you have all been waiting for. This is a covenant that was promised to you. Man had broken the old covenant and needed the blood of lambs and goats to atone for sins. So here is a new covenant that says that God will no longer remember our sins. He will blot it out completely. 
this covenant will no longer depend on the blood of lambs but Yehoshua will now become our Passover lamb only his blood was good enough for Yahweh so that anytime he sees the blood of his son he will pass over our sins anytime Yahweh sees the blood of his son mercy will prevail the old law was written in stone but the new covenant will be written in our hearts where his spirit will dwell the law is his word and in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God God's law is his spirit that will always remind us of him tell us of him bring us closer to him show us all things pertaining to him this is what the law has always been about a better relationship with God this is the relationship we can now have with God free from sin and condemnation free from dogmas traditions and contraptions of men a spirit rooted and filled relationship born out of a sacrifice of love that took Yehoshua from that Passover meal to walk his talk at Calvary as he struggled with the pain and shame of that cross all he saw was a promise of a new covenant that will free all those who believe from damnation and usher in his spirit into them for the start of a new relationship the Passover happened because the Jews applied the blood of lambs to their lintels and doorposts the Passover of the new covenant happens when you apply your belief in Christ to the doorpost of your heart this is what this Passover day is about this is what this resurrection stands for God bless you all